Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 8128, Cad Bane Speeder. This set includes 318 pieces and originally retailed for $49.99 back in August of 2010. Obviously, I got this set back in the day when it released and I no longer own the original box, but I do have the original instructions. So taking a look at those, we can zoom right out. Pretty much mimics the front of the box with the Captain Rex right there in the corner. LEGO Star Wars Lego and then the main picture of the set. This is of course based off Star Wars The Clone Wars. Taking a look from the very back right here, we do get the Win Kid. You can flip right open to some advertisements right here for some of the sets that were available for the time period for this summer wave. I believe this set was a retail exclusive to Target stores, so that's where I got this back in the day. As for all of the sets that are featured on this particular page, I own all of them that are featured and I do have reviews up for the top two over here that being Plu Koon's Jedi Starfighter and General Grievous's Jedi Starfighter. I also have a review up for Emperor Palpatine's shuttle as well as the clone turbo tank. As for these two other sets, you guys can expect reviews on them sometime in the future. We also do get a quick play features page right here. You can take a look at that. And then we can flip right open to a quick piece count page from the very side and then the final overall model for this particular set. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for the instructions. So let's take a look at our minifigures. Taking a look at our first minifigure, we have Cad Bane. This minifigure is not exclusive, but also comes within the clone Turbo Tank. That's another set that I have reviewed on the channel. Check it out in the description below card above. We get some plain dark gray legs for his character. We also do get this dark brown torso piece with some dark brown arms and some dark gray hands for some gloves. We also do get two accessories of the regular style short gun right here for his minifigure. We do not get any back printing for his character, but we do get this under the neck accessory of this breathing device which is normally seen when it comes to Cad Bane's character. I don't really know what this is supposed to represent but it is seen with his character within the show and then we do get this blue head piece right there with the printing for the very front of his facial expression continuing just how that would look and then he does have his hat which is an exclusively molded piece for his character that released back with the clone turbo tank so yeah that's pretty much all that I have to say for our minifigure of Cad Bane. Taking a look at our next minifigure we have Shahan Alama. This minifigure is exclusive to the set. We get some plain dark blue legs. We get one one dark blue arm and then one golden arm right here. We also do get one golden hand. I think that's supposed to just be like a robotic golden hand or something. Don't really know too much about this particular character. And then the other hand on this side is inside this dark gray color. We get a light gray torso piece with the printing for the very front. This is, I guess, a pirate bounty hunter character. We also get some back printing on his character. Very nice touch and also a very nice shine to the top of the torso as well. We get one accessory being the regular style short gun that also comes with a couple of our other characters characters within this set. And then we get the one facial expression right there with the printing for the very front of the face on that dark gray headpiece. We also get some back printing on the head, which is also very interesting to see since this is a bald character, though we do get a hat accessory right here within that dark red color, which is also very nice to get within that color. So yeah, that's pretty much all for Shahan. For our next minifigure, we have this elite assassin droid right here inside this black color. This minifigure is not exclusive, but also comes within the assassin's droid battle pack from back in 2009, as well as the Bounty Hunter Assault Gunship from 2011. This minifigure features the regular battle droid body buildup using the battle droid legs, body, and then the arms, one straight for the accessory and one curved on the other side inside that black color. We also do get the serving hand piece within that black color to connect up the head using the cone piece in black and then a translucent orange stud and a regular black stud just for the regular head for this assassin droid. In addition, we do get the long gun for the accessory and then we also do get a stud on the very back of the body piece and these all move since they are connected using the clip piece style. So yeah, that's all for our assassin droid. For our next minifigure, we have the Senate Commando Captain. This minifigure is exclusive to the set. We get some plain blue legs and then a black belt piece. We get some plain blue arms and some black hands for some gloves. We get the long gun for the accessory and then we do get the printing for the very front of the torso right there, including some more white details right there to signify that this is a Senate Commando Captain compared to just a regular Senate Commando, which we also get within the set. We get some back printing in addition for this particular character, which is the regular styling for like a clone minifigure, just using the blue torso piece going on right there. And then we also do get the regular clone facial 
facial expression for the time period, which is the one with the Clone Wars style eyes. And then we do get the helmet print for the Senate Commando characters right there, just with the white detailing, yet again, just to signify that this is a Senate Commando captain. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for our minifigure of the Senate Commando captain. Taking a look at our final minifigure, we get one of these regular Senate Commandos. This minifigure is not exclusive, but also came within the Venator ship, which is a set that I don't own within my collection, but wish to own someday. We get the same legs right there, the blue legs and then the black hips piece. We also do get the blue arms and the black hands for some gloves. We get the main printing for the very front of the torso, which is the regular clone style printing right there, just on the blue torso piece instead of the white. And then the same thing goes on for the very back, same back printing as the Senate Commando Captain within this particular set. And then for the facial expression, we do get the regular facial expression for the clone minifigures right there. And then we do get the same helmet mold just without the white highlights, just to signify that this is a regular Senate Commando character. And then we get the same accessory as our last Senate Commando, that being the long style gun. So yeah, that's all for our minifigure of the Senate Commando. Taking a look at the final overall model for Cad Bane Speeder. This set does include a lot of stickers for detailing. A lot of these are peeling just due to the age. But taking a look at it, I do like the color scheme of the light gray, dark gray, black, which is normal for most LEGO Star Wars sets, but we do get the added bit of the dark blue right there, which I think works very well. We also do get some translucent blue right here, just for some of the other details. We get the play features of the flick fire missiles, which I'll get to in a minute. But taking a look at our stickers right here, we get one right here on the very front of this slope piece, just for a very nice angling from the very front. We get some more on these slope pieces from the very side, just adding some more details right there very nicely done we get another sticker from the very back on this 2x4 tile piece in light gray that's also very nice just with the aero decals we get stickers reversed on both of these engines from the very back just adding some more dark blue right there in addition to the light gray we get stickers on each side of this wall element piece a two brick tall 1x2 wall element in light gray we get the same sticker going on from this side from the engines as well and that's pretty much all that I have to say when it comes to the stickers for this particular model the overall shaping, I think it is accurate to the source material. I do remember this particular ship within the TV series of the Clone Wars. This is the ship that I believe they used to rescue Zero the Hut, which later on dies within the Clone Wars. Sorry for that spoiler alert, but just had to say it. Which another really cool thing is that we do have the option of flipping up this particular part. So if you want to just place Zero the Hut, which we never got in LEGO form, that's a minifigure or character that I would really like to see LEGO tackle sometime in the future. You can just place and within this general area, though I don't really think that would make any sense since we just have this plain area for you to just place your characters, I guess. You can have them like sit down or something, but I don't really know what the point is of just having that part lift up, but it does, and that's really all that I have to say. That's a Technic connection down here from the very bottom. In addition, like I mentioned before, we do get the option of the flick fire missiles. We get a very nice spot right here that you can push in to shoot these off like such. And that will shoot it off into the distance, never to be found again. And then you can reload it right there if you so desire. We get one on both sides right there. Like I said, a lot of the angling for this particular ship just looks very nice. A lot of the slope pieces that they use. We get a lot of seating area right here. We get some clip pieces to store your weapons if you want to have your characters just sit down and store the weapons within that area. You can even just toss your weapons back here and just close this up if you so desire. We get the main seating area just for your characters if you want to have them sit within this particular area. And then like I said, we get a steering wheel and then we get some controls right there and a translucent blue stud just for some extra control details. So placing our minifigures within this vehicle might as well. Here's a look at our minifigures within the vehicle. We get Shahan right here at the very front driving it and then we have one of the seats. You can't sit down your assassin droid but you can just stand him there and then we have Cad Bane just hanging out from the very back since this ship in the show levitates close to the area where they let off and then we have the Senate commandos right there to combat them within this particular situation. Overall, for $50, is this a good deal? Yes, I think this is a wonderful deal. You get some very nice minifigures right here. You get the Senate Commando, both the Captain and the regular version. You would later see those return even better with some leg printing within a future battle pack. 
you get Cad Bane right there who only ever came within one other set, that being the clone turbo tank. And then in addition, you do get two other bounty hunters just to add to your collection and increase the amount of bounty hunters that you have from the Clone Wars era. As for the ship, I really like the color scheme. A lot of the stickers add some very nice details and it's just a very interesting part from the show just to get within Lego form. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this particular video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!